Hey guys, it's Katie. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I'm gonna make some soup for lunch. This is a super quick and cheap and easy pantry meal. And uh, I think we need more of those these days. So uh, my family call this macaroni and egg soup. I've heard other people call it depression soup. Because it's from the Great Depression. I'm actually gonna cook this on the back burner. I gotta clean my stove. Um, so I'm just gonna boil some water. All you need is some kind of pasta. Um, elbow macaroni is what I always used. My mom taught me how to make this and we ate it growing up. It's kind of comfort food. It's a very meager meal, but I love it and it's delicious. Um, but we used elbow macaroni. Any kind of pasta you have will work. Shells are really nice, like little soup shells, ditalini, orzo, anything like that. Um, you can even just take spaghetti and like crunch it up and to make little like short spaghettis. But once that comes to a boil, I'll put a little more water in. All right, once that comes to a boil, I'm gonna put in a handful of macaroni, however much you want for however big of a pot you're making. This is just for me right now. So my kids had peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, so um, this is what I'm gonna make for myself for lunch. So boil some water, get some macaroni. Got another ingredient, let me go grab it. Eggy Wiggies. Uh, I have two. I might not. I might not use both. Um, let's see. What else do we need? Some form of garlic. If you have fresh garlic, that's great. I have garlic powder. All right. So that's all the ingredients that you like need to have. Well, salt. So macaroni, eggs, garlic, and salt. Salt and pepper. That's all you need. Um, that's the way that my mom made it growing up. That's the way she taught me how to make it. I sometimes will add chicken. You can either use chicken stock to boil your macaroni or you can add a little chicken base or powdered bouillon or if you have homemade chicken stock. This makes it taste a little bit more flavorful. I'm gonna put just a little bit of this chicken base in there while the water's boiling. The water that you boil the macaroni in is the water that's going to be the soup. So you can put all your seasonings right in the water as it's boiling. I also like to add fresh parsley because I have it growing in the garden. But you could use dry parsley too. But not necessary. I just like parsley in all my soup. So I'm going to go out in the front yard and get some of that while this boils and I'll be right back. All right, so I just picked a little sprig of parsley, washed it, and I'll put that in near the end. So I'm going to go ahead and add salt. You always add salt when you boil pasta. Um, just remember if you put bouillon or something in there, it's going to have some salt. It's almost up to a boil. You could put a lid on it, but too lazy. All right, my water's boiling. Put the macaroni in. Depends on how much you're making to know how much macaroni. Um, but I'm just gonna pour some in since I'm just making one serving. If you end up adding too much macaroni and it soaks up all your broth, then you can just add a little more water. A little bit more in. Probably like a third of a cup maybe. You wanna always stir as soon as you put pasta in water. So stir it, make sure it's not sticking to the bottom or sticking to each other. And then you just cook it for however long the pasta needs to cook. So it depends on what you're making. Just look at the package. So my package doesn't tell me. So this I'm just going to let it cook for like 10 minutes. I don't think I put the garlic powder in yet. I put the chicken base and I put the salt in. Put the garlic powder in. And while that's cooking, we can get the egg ready. You got a couple options. You can put the egg in a cup and scramble it, and then you put it in the soup after the macaroni is cooked, or when it's within about a minute of being cooked. You can also just crack the egg in there and kind of beat it up in the boiling water. It kind of does the same thing. Um, I'm going to crack it in the cup. And then I'm going to beat it, but I just beat it a little bit. So 
So I like to have some separation. Like I like there to be some egg white and then some egg yolk. But I also like it mixed a little bit. I don't want like a whole egg yolk, if that makes any sense. So I just lightly beat it. Can you see that? Can you see how there's egg white that's not mixed in fully? Like there's still egg white. That's just the way I like to do it. Do it however you like to do it. Set that aside and we'll wait. All right, we're almost done. Macaroni's almost done. And taste the broth for salt seasoning. Make sure it tastes good. Oh yeah, it's good. It's fine. I really like that better than bouillon soup base. It has a good flavor. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the egg in and you just kind of drizzle it in bring it forward so you can see, but I'll put it back on the heat. Um, just want to drizzle it in the hot broth and stir. And then put it back on the heat. And let the uh, macaroni finish cooking the last, whatever, 30 seconds to a minute that is on the timer. The egg will come cooked. I'm going to take that parsley I'm just going to tear it up. Put that on. As long as it comes to a full boil after you put the egg in, then the egg should be fully cooked. That's fine. Turn off the heat and I'll get a bowl. So you can see how some egg white and then there's the egg yolk kind of separate. If you want it all more uniform, just beat the egg a little bit more. You want it brothier, add a little bit more uh, water or stock. You want a different shape noodle, use a different shape noodle. All right, I'm going to put some in here in my bowl. black pepper. All right. My mom always served this with hot dogs. We either have hot dogs like on buns and have this as kind of a side dish or sometimes she would cut up the hot dogs and put them right in the soup. That was always my favorite. I don't have any hot dogs today though so I have this and some cucumber slices for my lunch. And my spoon. All right. Hopefully you enjoy the recipe. If you try it let me know what you think. If you make any changes let us all know how it turned out. See you guys next time. Bye.